विभति स्थल कृष्ण कव्य पाद पंकज पंजलांत अद्वैन दिशत मानस राज हंस प्राण प्रयाण समय कभवात दिखाई कंठ बदन रस्ते भजन कृतस्ते विभति स्थल टू कृष्ण ओ कृष्ण माइंड मस्ट बी अटैच इन लोटस पीच जस्ट नाउ वाइ इफ यू रिमेम्बर ड्यूरिंग आवर डे भक्त स्टेलिन ओ कृष्ण डोंट चीट मी प्राण प्रयाण समय कप बात दिखाई देन डीलिंग ओल्ड एज एंड डीलिंग स्पेशली डीलिंग वाइ वी सेल एक्सपर्ट फ्रॉम दिस ओवर देन आवर वॉइस इन विच आउट वी कैन नॉट अटैच योर नेम वी कैन नॉट रिमेम्बर कंठ भजन कंठ भजन तस्ते भजन को तस्ते और भर्स इन विच आउट वी कैन नॉट अटैच योर नेम सो आवर माइंड विल बी फिक्स फ्रॉम टूडे नॉट टूडे फ्रॉम जस्ट नाउ सो फ्रॉम एटी टू हंड्रेड वी आर अनेबल टू चैन अनेबल टू रिमेम्बर सो दिस एटी टू ट्वेंटी हंड्रेड दिस ट्वेंटी इयर्स इज यूजलेस सो एट फर्स्ट फिफ्टी इयर्स स्पेन फॉर स्लीपिंग एंड फ्रॉम एटी टू हंड्रेड दिस ट्वेंटी इयर्स फॉर यूजलेस टाइम फॉर यूजलेस लाइफ सो फिफ्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी सो थर्टी इयर्स इज स्टिल देयर so in this material world we want to enjoy so many things for maintaining our life we have to be a great personality maybe a doctor or a barrister or minister so many things so being expert at least 20 years is needed so being expert in this material world for enjoying this Material world twenty years to be gained. So at first we spend seventy years. Seventy plus twenty is ninety. So ninety years almost done. So rest is to ten years. In this ten years, there is uncountable desires. I want beautiful wife. So many sons will become. I have to nourish them. I have to build a house. I have to purchase very good quality of car like Jaguar Sumit, a rose car. I have to purchase. So all time will be passed. So when I shall do bhajan, so Prabhu is telling, if you start from your boyhood, then impression will come in your mind and heart. Then easily you can progress into the Krishna consciousness. If you not do so, then everything will go in vain. Why do you go for teaching a Harina? If any matter person asks you, better you can chant in old age. Then if Prahlad Bhai is telling you, no, Govan Bhai is telling you, have to start from boyhood. If you not do so, suppose in England there is so many university like Oxford University. If you ask their professor, better you don't teach here. Why do you need to ask after that you can Give the admission them in your university. Is it possible? <laughs> Never is it possible. So if we want to be expert in materially, so we have to start our education from boyhood. But why not this bhajan from boyhood? If we not start bhajan from boyhood, this is not possible for advancing Krishna consciousness. So Prabhu Maharaj instruct us to the one in front that we have to start our bhajan. From boyhood, then this guy, his friend is telling, "Oh, brother, don't worry. Better teacher is not here. We can play. Aaj karo sa, kal karo, kal karo sa, parso. Kya khat khat me pare diye, wo samay pare hai parso. Oh, brother, don't worry so much. We should start us today. We shall do tomorrow. Oh." If we will start tomorrow, shall we do day after tomorrow? Why are you so early? Oh, that's a long time. We will lie for a long time. Don't worry. Pralamar is telling, Subhasa Sidram. Oh, my brother, your idea is not good. Kau karo so ad karo ad karo so ad pralme pralai hai bahuri kare ni kau. Oh, my dear friends, don't worry. Don't be hopeless. I am giving you a good suggestion. 
what do you want to do tomorrow please do today and what do you want to suppose to do today please do immediate because none can say when that will come for us if someone invite you that who will join in this assembly that 10000 pound will be distributed for it if you think that i shall go that tomorrow everyone will run as soon as possible so if you want to progress in this national consciousness we have to be so alert that we have got to be delay for a moment so prolog my is giving the suggestion and then all of them began to start kirtan then padaka is suggesting that now you are Uh, boys up three, four, five, six, or seven. What is this? Very well, like Kumar ka. In boy, boy who? Boy who? But if now you are so much uh, free from worldly uh, things, and your heart is so much plain, not written anything there. But when you will be mature, and if you are married, then a, a beautiful wife will come. And at that time, if you leave this world to do bhajan, then she will be. How you can give up a very beautiful and uh, having so many qualities? You can. And if you will have. some children one two three four some daughters sub some sons very beautiful then you will be engaged more in them then if you will try to give up all these things you can that oh i will have to support this children now they are like very baby they cannot do anything if i am going giving up this householdness then all they die so how you can if the children are not be father 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 then how you can be the all this if they are made a very good uh, god is and so many trees flowers are there and if you will decide that i should give up and go to chant and be with association and dona pai vishnu then chant and remember how can you go oh my who will take care of my this god all flowers will die oh my beautiful dog he cannot live without me a oh, beautiful cow beautiful days you cannot at that time if you want that but you can so better in this child god you are free from all this that are you thought chant and remember from this time all as students them and boys but so much but inspired inspired but they have some doubt they have some doubt rala from where do you learn all these things very high class of philosophical basic things and what you are telling you are true to aspect so now we have so much faith on you but we want to know from where you learn so good explanations and all these things then what he replied you should just stand up and tell you can under remember nahi wala nahi tha to aage gir jao tumko pani le kar inko pani le aa kar ke jab se chetai de nahi tab jab se phir hone wale hain anyone you can and very the song way
So previously, when Pallad Maharaj had been asked this question, he replied that just naturally that he had this inspiration to serve Vishnu and his devotional mentality was there just coming. But now, because he was um, associating with his friends who were not inimical, um, they were making inquiry. Then he started to reveal his heart. So he explained that previously, um, when his father, Yuna Nikashipu, had left him. told that I had heard all these things learned from Nara. That I had some doubt. <coughs> we have never seen that uh, you have been associated with Nara anyhow. We have not seen Nara there yet. And you are only a t very little boy, baby. Then you got uh, the association of Narvrishi, then what? Then he explained that when his father, Ivani Kashipu, had left for um, to perform austerities, that his mother, Kayali... Why, why he went to do austerities? He went to perform austerities to get boon from Lord Brahman. He saw that his, ma his brother, my brother, had been killed by Baraj. So Baraj is not other than Vishnu. And if I am going to take revenge to kill Vishnu, then he should surely kill me. So I should be dead. Ajara Amar. So he that. So that's so then Hirani Kashipu, when he went to um, Mandira Hill to perform his austerities to gain immortality, then at that time the demigods headed by Lord Indra, they, um, they went to, they understood that Kayadu, the wife of Hirani Kashipu, please, when he went to astrology, for astrology, he left anything to take, even water, even dry leaves, even air, everything he left. For 60,000 years he was in a, in a trance. And his body was taken by ants, plants and... So when the, when the bone was there, and at that time in Shaktadu, life used to live in bone, not in this body. And here now, if you will not anything, after two, three days he will die. But at that time, life used to live in bone, so he was doing, doing a study for 60,000 years. And in the meantime, what became? So in the meantime, the demigods, understanding that his wife was pregnant. So, headed by Indra, they went, because they were thinking that... So, they were thinking that within the womb of Kayadu, that there was another very big potential demon that was coming. So, they went with the intention that they would um, kill the baby that was within yeah. the womb. So at that time, um, Kayadu, she... Um, she ha he attacked with whole soldiers, all demigods. And very big battle was there. The generals of Hirinakashpu were there, they were fighting. But the demigods came all, smashed them. And at last they got hold of Kayadu. So then Kayadu, she was uh, calling out for help from... Narada Muni. Then Narada Muni, mm -hmm. he, he began to take they, they, his they mother to take Adu in the heavenly planet. So that when he, 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 she will be matured in his home, then boy will come and live. So he was taken. In the way Narada was coming from heaven or any planet to this earth. Why you are doing so nonsense thing? Being a, a demigod and you are taking this lady 
He cannot fight with you. Why you are telling? Then, then Narada Muni explained to um, the demigods that actually the baby that was within the womb was a great devotee. Um, Lord Indra and the other demigods they were thinking that this was a big demon, but Narada Muni explained no, that this is a very very great devotee, so that you should not um, disturb Kayadu. So then the demigods, understanding the situation, they circumambulated Kayadu, paying obeisances to Palad Maharaj, and then they departed again for the heavenly planets. But Kayadu, she was feeling still some fear because of this situation, and then she asked Narada Muni um, that she receive shelter from Narada Muni, and that also the baby that was within her womb, that he may not, he not be born until um, her husband, Hirani Kashipu, had returned from performing his austerities. So Hirani Kashipu, he performed his austerities, as Maharaj has stated, for 60,000 years, um, just keeping his, the life within the bones. And finally, when he had finished his austerities and asked the benedictions from um, Lord Brahma, then, um, well, in this time, when the austerities were being performed, then, within the hermitage of Narada Muni, Narada Muni was instructing Kayadu in um, spiritual life. He was speaking from, different, from so, all different scriptures, from the Upanishads, from the Vedas, um, Puranas, etc. And explaining so much Lila Kata and giving so much Siddhanta. So, Palat Maharaj was within the womb, and he was hearing all these instructions and harikata from the lips of Srila Narada Muni. So, he also explained that Karmanya Rahmananam okay, Karmanya Rahmananam by karma, but what we are doing, we cannot be happy. Never, never, never. Anyone has not become never. Happy. If you want to be happy in life, go to very expert guru. And at once take initiation, name and everything. And then try to follow the rules and regulations of devotions. Then they told that, oh, it is very hard. We cannot do this thing. Then Prahlad Maharaj told, oh, Sarveshanam Bhutanam api Hari Rathmeshwara Priya Bhutan Mahadvishvi Kritai Kritanam Jiva Sangita Yash Eternal Servant of God. Eternal Servant of Krishna. Krishna is Supreme Personality of Godhead. So there is nothing uh, hard to, um, to chant, remember, devotional activities. Naturally we can do these things. We should accept that Krishna is our holy master, his father, his mother, his everything. So doing like this, so after going to Gurudev and taking initiation, we should learn how to begin our activities, Uttama Bhakti parties. Then he will teach everything. He will tell everything, like Siksha Guru, everything. And then he will tell that there are Bhakti of um, 64 kinds of. In them, five are prominent. Nine are prominent for Prahlad Maharaj Mahatma. Samadam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Svarnam. And among them, five are most important. Sadhu Sangha, Nam Kirtan, Bhagavad Samar, Mathurava, Srimutte, Sabdaya, Sakal Sadhana Shrestha, Epancha. Among all the devotional, eh? these five are so much prominent. If anyone not doing any offense and is touched by any of the five, eh? chanting name, being in any 
of any very good qualified guru and Vaishnava. Worshipping very faithfully and hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. So any of the five, if you, you are touched any or a little, and among all these things, most important and root of all bhakti is Hari Nam Shakti. Sarva Nam From today, from just now, we should become Hari Nam They told us that how we can do we, what, we should be expert in instruments. No, no, no need, no need. We should bring any instrument. No, no, nothing. Vali Krishna has given Kartal here in hands. They can do it. Kartal one. And Krishna has given very beautiful tongue and mouth and shriek. So, they can do from here today, just now, they are all agreed that we will follow him. So, then Prabhupada Maharaj was doing, oh, repeat me. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare
Kan? Dan yang aku So, this hands up Sanama Hang lang saan si Ardui? Dul Benita? Dul Benitino? Disobedient Disobedient? My how? My family is so restricted And you have become like that? And axe. Handle of an axe. And you cut like whole dynasty. Dynasty. Like a sandal. Oh, I will teach you this. Who is telling you? I want to. Then what you do? You know, you can. Anyone can tell. You can tell. What happened? No. Tony, you should tell. Where? Where? She has played away? Tita, Manta, Atma Kula Bheda Naradhama, Stabdham, Masasana Udbhutam, Nishetam Jamak Shanti. You are not calling me. You are showing all the way. You are as for our dynasty. You are Stabdham. You are like your like a stone, nothing understanding, no intelligence at all. Oh, now I am going to. And then what we get? Who is your protector? And who is your bulb? Bulb and strong. So Hirani Kashipu. Now he became very furious with his boy, Pralad Maharaj. He said to his, he said to Pralad Maharaj, Don't you know that all of the demigods in this world, they are afraid of me. Uh, only I raise my eyebrow and they become filled with fear. I am so powerful. Yet I see that you are not afraid of me when I am standing before you, ready to kill you. Why are you not afraid? From where are you deriving your strength? Pralad Maharaj said, My dear father, Pralad Maharaj, being very humble and polite, replied to his father, My dear father, I derive my strength from the same place that you derive your strength, from Vishnu. In the name of Vishnu, then um, Hirani Kashibu became more incensed because he is the murderer, the killer of his brother. He's the arch enemy of Hirani Kashibu. Then uh, Hirani Kashbu said, My dear boy, I think that you have become over intelligent. Speaking in this way, this is the type of talk indulged in by persons who are about to die. So now I will kill you. And <clears throat> then he asked Pralad Maharaj, Where is your Lord now? Let us see him if he can save you. Where is your Lord? Pralad Maharaj said, My dear father, my Lord is everywhere, in every atom. Hirani Kashipu said, He's everywhere. Is he in this pillar? This stone pillar? And Pralai Maharaj, he, his vision was such that he looked in the pillar and he could see there. But he is strong with Hiko. With Yes. <laughs> My Lord is everywhere. Even in this pillar. And looking in the pillar, he could see Lord Nasringadev waiting there and smiling at him. So then, Hirani Kashipu, he had no faith, he did not believe this. And with great anger, he took up his sword. And without using his sword, he broke the pillar with his fist. And then he began cursing and swearing at his boy, because now he would sever his head from his body. He said, now, let me see my, your Lord save you. I will sever your head from your body, like this. And he was just about to kill uh, Pralad Maharaj, when suddenly there was the most Tremendous roar. <laughs> and he was looking here. And he was looking here and there. Where is, what is that? Where did that come from? And then he was just about to kill Pralad Maharaj when suddenly the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, appeared in a most wondrous, fearful, and frightening and awesome form, a most astonishing form which had never been seen before, which was very, very powerful and white 
the body of a man and the head of a lion. He was so big that the hairs of his mane would send it, the airplanes of the demigods spinning into outer space. <laughs> Fire was coming. Fire was coming from him. His eyes were red like fire, and his tongue was moving about like a dueling sword. Oh, didn't have hands. <laughs> he had thousands and thousands of hands, and in his hands he was holding many, many weapons. So, then he ran to Shiku, sing, Lord Singh Day. He thought, whoa, what is this amazing creature? I have never seen anything like this before. And then he took up his sword thinking, actually I have benediction from Lord Brahma. He cannot be killed. So whoever he is, whatever, whatever he may be, cannot kill me. So he took up his sword and shield and ran at Lord Singh Day. Exactly like a tiny mosquito goes into a blazing fire. <laughs> So, <laughs> then the fight began, and sometimes Lunya Singh Day, he would catch uh, Hirani Kashpu in his grip, like this. And at this time, all the demigods who had been living under the fierce tyranny of Hirani Kashpu, they began to cheer, Jai, Jai, Jai. And then he, when Hirani Kashpu would slip from the grasp of Lunya Singh Day, then he would become morose. Oh no, what will happen to us now? And they became so afraid. So Lodi Singhadev, he can very easily kill Hiranya Kashipu, but he's playing with him. He's having some um, virya ras. Previously, uh, Narayan in Vaikuntha, he had this desire in his heart. Uh, I would like to relish this virya ras, the desire to fight. Hmm? But with whom can I fight? Hmm? Everyone in Vaikuntha, they are all my devotees, they will not fight with me. And if I go to the material world, no one is qualified. Uh, no one can give me a good match. So, by the arrangement of Krishna's, uh, the Supreme Lord's Yoga Maya, the pastime took place that the four Kumaras, they went to Vaikuntha and were stopped by Jayan Vijay. And then, the four Kumaras, they cursed Jayan Vijay to appear in the world to take birth as demons. So, the Supreme Lord's own devotees, they had appeared in this world as Hiranyaksha and Hiranyakashipu. So now, Lundar Singhadei was enjoying very much this uh, very harassed fighting with Hiranya Kashipu. So sometimes you catch him and sometimes let him slip. Mm -hmm. And another reason that slip, then all demigods began to tremble. Yes, when all the demigods were, their hearts were shaking in fear. And then, another reason Bhutan Shingrad did not immediately kill Hiranya Kashipu was because he wanted to keep intact the benedictions given by Lord Brahma. His dear devotee Lord Brahma had given the benediction to Hirani Kashipu that he could not be killed during the day or the night. He could not be killed in the, on the land, in the air, in the sky, in the water. He could not be killed by any uh, creature created by Lord Brahma. He could not be killed by any man or any animal. He could not be killed by any weapon. He could not be killed inside any building or outside of any building. He could not be killed in any year. So, so many benedictions. And having all of these benedictions, Hirani Kashipu was very confident. Yes, now I am immortal. Hmm? But Lord Nishigade was waiting for that time, the time of dusk. It was not in the day and not during the night. And at that exact moment, Hirani, Ka uh, uh, Hirani Kashipu was grasped by Lord Nishigade. And Lord Nishigade placed him on his lap. So he was neither on the land or in the sea or in the sky. And he was neither inside or outside of the house because Lord Nishingh Dev was sitting with him on his lap in the threshold, in the doorway. <coughs> and uh, Lord Nishingh Dev, he did not kill him with any weapon, but rather just taking his very sharp and pointed nails. He, not in any year? Uh, oh, not in any year. This was leap, leap, the leap year day. So, in this way, <laughs> all of the... Uh, words of Lord Brahma, the, the words of a, of a pure devotee, they must prove to be true. And Krishna will always protect the words and the promises of his devotees. So to keep intact the benedictions of Brahmaji, then Hirani Kashi, uh, Lord Nishingade, he killed the Hirani Kashipu at this exact time, in this act, exact way. And he appeared, not in the form of a human being, and not in the form of an animal, but half man and half animal. Uh, why he appeared? To, to 
Porque a ideia Como é isso? Só que a Foi um que é para lá Que tão perto, oh, yes, he is the decision And everywhere To make this true And also The Bhaktavaya Chatushan Samachananda Samachana To Keep the words That Only by this no. So all these so many values. So Pralat Nishingadev came in the Shatha and I, I found then Lord Nishingadev, whose hands are very beautiful like a cluster of stars, immediately burst open the abdomen of Hirani Kashibu and his blood spattered everywhere all over the mane of uh, Lord Nishingadev. He looked very ferocious with spattered in blood. And he tore open the abdomen of Hirani Kashiku and removed his, all his intestines. And then taking those intestines, he wrapped them around his neck as a very he uh, comes very big garland. The hair spread, flame went coming from all of them. Yes. Then, at last, Hirani Kashi was dead, but he was not coming down. He was so angry. At that time anyone could not pacify him. Then Brahma, Shankar, all began so worry how to satisfy him. Then they called Lakshmi Devi and prayed that you should go and pacify your husband. Today, this time I cannot go. <laughs> they will also kill me. Then all told that Brahma, you should go, you are my son. Oh, today I can. <laughs> oh, you are friend of Krishna and you should go, oh, she. Oh, today no friendship. <laughs> <laughs> then they requested Prahla, oh, what? You should go, your father is like me. And you should satisfy and pacify your father. Prahla Maharaj quickly, immediately, went to the Shinkadev and he came, jumped in the lap of the And at once he was pacified, tears were coming from him there. Now he was so much angry. But now everything went in a moment and tears were coming and he was Pralat Maharaj, like animals, they do. <laughs> and he told, what he told? Then, uh, I'm so much satisfied. Lord Rishikadev, he began to speak to Pralai Maharaj. My dear boy, I am so much satisfied with you. You have undergone so many troubles and difficulties for me. So, I apologize that I have not appeared sooner to yes. save you from all of these problems. I should have come first. But I have made so late, so I am worried. So I want to give you some benediction. So then, uh, Lord Nursingadev, he expressed that he wanted to give some benediction to Prahlad Maharaj. But the pure devotee never has any self-interest. They do not serve the Lord with any motive. So Prahlad Maharaj, he was unwilling to accept any benediction from uh, his uh, Lord, Lord Nrsinghadev. What did he reply? So he said to Lord Nrsinghadev, No, no, Prahlad Maharaj, what did he reply? He told that, I'm not a business man. I'm not the all the person act at peace for business point. That I will serve you and you will give me something. So this is business. So you should take for any desire is hiding anywhere in my heart. You should quickly take it so that I may be true. Because you are telling that you should want something, benediction. So I think I don't know where it is hidden here. So please take. He took that. Oh, I know that you are pure. You don't want to use that, never use it by anything. But I still I want something that you should take. 
than Prahlad Maharaj told. The Siddhi was instructed me to take any benediction. Then I learned that my father has done so much, offended you, offended me. He has given so much uh, trouble, trouble to all the devotees here. He has cut all the um, green trees that anyone cannot uh, have any wood or fruits. He has killed all the cows that he cannot come, milk cannot come, butter cannot come to for devotional activities, for human jagya, fire sacrifice. And he had killed all the brandings at that time. So he had done so much. One very grander mistake of himself. So please uh, excuse him. For him. For him. He told that, oh, you are so done for the father. Your father has been liberated. liberated. Because those who are of high class, Uttam Vaishnava, in their dynasty, upper and lower, 21 generation, generation, all father, all mothers, all will be liberated. And those who are in Madhya Madhika, always chanting, remembering, doing devotional activities, their 14, generation. 14 generations will be quickly And those who are now Kanishta Dikari, taking initiation and doing chanting, remembering, and try to do uh, Shuddha, pure Harinam, pure devotional activity, but they cannot do. Even seven generation uh, should be liberated. So don't worry. Then he told that. Again he told, insisted, that I want to be any benediction because my darshan is abhyartha. So will not go in vain. In vain. So you should want it. Then he told, I want that all these conditioned souls are forgetting me. And they are now doing so many bad things. And they are suffering so much. I cannot tolerate. I want that my all good things should be given to them so that they may be devoted. I want to take the, all their sufferings and bad fruit of bad activity. And for life and life but I want to suffer suffer of them. But they should be liberated. Then Prahlad Maharaj, mm. Nishinga Dev told, I am defeated, Nishinga Dev told, I am defeated. And you have warned me. Now I am myself giving you this benediction. That anyone hear this Harikatha about myself and yourself, this Prahlad Upatka, the pastimes of Prahlad Maharaj and Nishinga Dev, that will be quickly liberated. And anyone has not to suffer, you will have not to suffer. So, you now, if anyone doing Chanting, remembering Nishimha Dev and Prahlad Maharaj. Anyway, participating in this function here, in Abhishek, here in Harikatha, this sweet and powerful Harikatha here, all should be liberated by Nishimha Dev. If Nishimha Dev promises this, <coughs> that anyone here, I'll make them, but liberated from this world, and all their suffering, sorrows and everything I will take. So he will must take. He will take. You should have a very good strong faith. He cannot cheat us. What he will tell, he will surely do. So you should have a very strong faith that he will be merciful to us. And gradually we will develop our Krishna consciousness. And he will give inspiration for Bhakti Rai. So, after this, we will do what Abhishek of Nishimha Dev today. First, some Kirtan and then Abhishek of Nishimha Dev. We will do like Indian press, not so much tightened by 
coat and everything. Well, we have catch up that. They should take and do. Two, three persons. Who will do? Ravana, Bhatta, Namin. They can all do. And very simple. He knows, he will show, and he will do. Quickly, take up all your cloth and do it. First take Ashman and do it. Two, three persons can help. Sudham uh, Sathar and Kundari, they can help. And he should also do it. Quickly, oh, we should do some Krita. Oh, he should do it. All the time.